Hello, students and professionals. Let's welcome back another important session. Okay, what is the topic today? Important IDOC tips. No more hard coding needed. Hard coding, actually, hard, not hard code. Whatever you take, whether now or where, hard code needed. Area related VOE 2 and E4 for SAP or EDA, whatever you take. Okay, let's try to understand this. Okay, yesterday I have added this video for a different kind of EDA document types and processes. And more importantly, who must know being an SAP consultant, how SD works, how it will be integrated with any interface outside of your system or else within system. The communication understandability should be needed between SAP system to SAP system, SAP system to non-SAP system. If both are non-SAP system, you don't require it since you are a SAP consultant, okay? So these are the two important transactions, VOE2 and VOE4. The frequency is so high when you try to communicate with the external system for partners and certain details. And what is the basic advantage of these two transactions? These two transactions, out of these two transactions, one of the transactions I have used, almost two transactions I have used in my course. If you really wanted to have a practical experience, you can you can give it a try, okay? Before going ahead on SAP system, you can see this. And uh, this is sales and distribution, 106 hours. It's a backup course if you want. Have a serious learning to become a SAP SD consultant. This is real-time IDOC training. Consultants with business, if you would like to learn IDOCs. This is the place I'm pointing out. If you're beginner, then definitely you have to go through it. All real-time consultants are subscribing. I don't know why hmm, beginners, like, you know, they're in job trials, not concentrating on a little more to get more benefit for their career. You try this course. In this course, five scenarios I explained. I already told you purchase order creation, A system to B system and uh, purchase order IDOC and after that purchase order IDOC, how it will be converted into the sales order second. And third one is like uh, once sales saved the sales order, the output how again one more IDOC to send order acknowledgement and after that delivery notification, two scenarios and fourth one is invoice. In future, I will try to add a few more scenarios. Currently, uh, I didn't do the, I didn't uh, set the system setup. This is the course than some five to six months ago. Okay. And if you want a few more courses, getting master to write functional specification and pricing, a lot more, around 20 areas I have covered. If you want as per on a basics also, you can able to give a try at my end. And if you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe my channel. Please get into the topic very quickly, okay? Let's give it a try. First, we're going to see what is EDA. EDA means data, I mean like information changed between two systems to another system. For example, simple example, your vendor system is non-SAP system, okay? So your vendor is not created in your SAP system or else might be represented with some other name. How these two systems get to communicate? For example, you have five vendors, okay? You are a retail giant. You are uh, like, you know, taking the, uh, uh, like, you know, if you look at A system, okay? They're rising purchase order. That means he is a buyer. He's sending information to B system. Okay, B system is your SAP system. Let's assume for the time being, okay? So, when a particular vendor is buying certain thing, for example, your vendor is distributor, okay, buyer. Your vendor is like, you know, corporate seller. Your vendor is somewhere like, you know, manufacturer. Your vendor is raw material provider. Whatever the case, okay, they would like to, they would like to buy a stock from SAP system. That is one company. Next company is A system, okay, that is your vendor. 
let's take an example vendor has one distribution channel and wholesaler has one distribution channel the raised anywhere in this world from non sap system if they send the information the information will be received by hmm, our eda and after that it will send to our pa and then uh, in our system the idoc will be converted idoc will be created for example order idoc okay taking the, all the purchase information of how much quantity i want it how many okay so who is the buyer and who is the seller your vendor right you should have to link it this is the place where suppose certain customer okay belongs to certain sales area okay so the external vendor number from where like you know but the buying information coming on behalf of this vendor this is internal customer this is our sap system created customer so the sales order will be created by using this one okay so there is one field called in the system i cannot able to show you w02 in my course i have explained uh, so there is okay even edk uh, even edk01 that field if you click that you can able to see that you know uh, the uh, recipient vendor information okay so this is the place where which sales document you are using for example you you have created all eda orders will be created with zor1 and all normal direct orders will be created zor2 it has a chances you have a chance like you know by using zor1 eda orders zor1 with the same offline orders also your online web orders also suppose you created one document type called web okay all hybrids or some other kind of external web system from there they enter the information like flipkart or amazon or anywhere okay so the vendor is what i'm just linking with all my customers so that you know sales order will be created it's an easy process so see people don't have knowledge because they know this one very well if they don't have knowledge they are trying to hard code it's a laborious process laborious means like it's a donkey cake donkey weight carrying process in simple time like you know so hard never hard code it has a lot of complexities and a lot of situation arises certain times you will have a entry question suppose if your profile is more than 4 plus years or 6 years you are like you know trying real time consultant showing an experience and trying like you know try to learn something better if you want it okay so that is a different story i don't want to discuss more uh those things about that so let's try to get into this so your customer and vendor is linked with the respect to sales area and sales document type in a situation like you know the same thing it's supposed to work they don't give the document type this is the table it is very very important you can see this the table eds dc let's go to sc16 yeah i have seen all these uh things in my real time on support projects also okay now see this the same thing if you'd like to get in a table format this is the table that is the basically you know sm30 maintenance table okay so let's go control let's go sm30 i don't have any information currently with me now okay to maintain the sdc So basically, this is a configurable table. Okay. So let's do. Let me click this. Okay. So this is the table. The same place it will come. You go to the new entries and you can even either you can able to open by using SM30 or else you can use the transaction the table. You cannot able to maintain directly. EDS DC. This is basically configurable table. Now let's try to understand one more table in the similar way. so it depends on projects they might use both are similar i have seen this this is the basically you know linkage between the partner function sh ship to is there for example um, i would like to send uh, a certain information based on ship to and bill to combination i would like to send to uh, my billing information once so uh, uh, delivery created and billing created my billing information based on my bill to i would like to send a certain external system example i'm telling 
I'm telling the similar way how you are receiving the similar way if you'd like to send either receiving or sending both you can able to do it this customer is here both got maintained in a similar way okay but it's not the case uh, for example if you see this he has created this one and this is it see if you look at this this is the best example someone has created a uh, smart mart he has created so that means he's sending uh, like a, what i would say order information to that particular system so here you can able to take any one of the partner function combination with the with like you know customer an external partner if you see this this is customer is sap internal customer or vendor or bill to party this partner function and this is external this is what is the basic advantage of this one let me explain you i have three see i'm maintaining i'm see i'm buying certain stock so i'm selling certain stock assume that for my customers here are the different customers Okay, in my SAP system got created for those customers. Let's assume that, you know, I'm Unilever. I have a customers like Amazon, uh, maybe like, you know, McDonald's or else you can take any uh, big buzzers. These kind of markets are there. I have created these customers. Once I created this customer, they are having a certain partner functions. So a billing information is supposed to send. So pinpointedly, if I would like to send big buzzer to big buzzer only, I have to send. If I cannot see, if I don't maintain this table, it has a accidental chances. Certainly, you might have chances to move that big budget billing information to more supermarket. I don't want to do it. Just like that. Once I automated the process, everything should be streamlined. There is no scope for mistakes. Why I'm telling this? Why it is so important? I'm telling you, like, if you look at that, maybe... Uh, so on a bulk seller like big budget or else more my prices might be different who is the frequent buyer who is the long lasting buyer the uh, the buyer the place where he situated in a different country different regions different perceptions my all my pricing and my discounts might vary one person to another person okay pricing is very interesting topic right if you want to learn, I have a couple of courses. You have, you must have to give a try for that. Okay. So this is the combination: your customer, an external function, and hmm, external function, and your external partner or internal. Okay. This is the link basically. You have to give it so, then it will work for you. Okay. So this is this is very very important. These two tables to avoid hard coding hard coding to set up a fair communication between two proper SAP systems or two non-SAP systems, sorry, SAP system and non-SAP system. Either way, incoming IDOX or outbound IDOX, okay, for sending the information. So I don't want to give more details about this one. If you really wanted to have a good knowledge just uh, try to subscribe my course for idocs definitely at one point i had a discussion about practically created in the system not theory full practicals how the communication will happen so i have explained you better give a try this course this course must must be you know subscribed by everyone because idocs knowledge is very, very important. Of course, in YouTube, some places you will get it. But here, all processes are streamlined and captured at one place. And at the same time, you try this course, getting master to write functional specification. This is very, very important. Along with that, I have a few set of courses. You can you, you must have to give a try about all these practical courses. Here, I have given some courses based on my project experience advanced three down payment scenarios and um, this is for support tickets it will be useful for interviews so many folks they're asking me like that this is the one uh, like part one i have done in future i'm going to add a few things and i'm planning to do interview questions also in a near future okay uh that's all for today if you're really interested you can subscribe my youtube channel to get more inputs from my side. I'm just providing my Udemy links below of uh, 
this video in the description box. If you want, you can give a try. If you don't want, no problem. Be with me in my channel. I will share some knowledge which is more important for you. Thank you so much. I wish you all the best. Jai Bharat. Have a great day. Love your country.